This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see them analyze that data, but I tell every day the day they release us is false, and then it gives us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, UBS, and Morgan Stanley have agreed to pay $499 million to settle a lawsuit about anti-competitive accusations. And guess where? In their sheer lending environment. In their sheer lending environment. A lot of pension funds, a lot of pension funds are claiming that these banks, these institutions were controlling share lending. They were controlling the amount of money that the pension funds could make by having a prearranged interest rate. And then they were able to lend it out at whatever rate they wanted, but they would only pay the pension funds a very small rate that these guys negotiated between themselves before they borrowed the shares from the pension funds. First of all, are we surprised by that? No, we all know, or well, not we all know, but I've learned over the last 30 months that these bad actors, these hedges, these big institutions, they manipulate every single aspect of our financial market. It is not a, a fair and transparent market. It is heavily manipulated through fraud, corruption, and sometimes criminal activities. And the SEC is fully aware of what's going on. The DTCC is fully aware of what's going on. FINRA, CFTC, fully aware of what's going on. They just allow it to continue. But the pension funds got sick and tired of getting the short end of the stick. They were tired of watching these hedges borrow their, borrow their shares at, at 2% and 3% and then lend it out at 10, 15, 20% or whatever price they were lending it out for. And the fact that they were conspiring, in my opinion, to control the amount of money that the pension funds could make is, you know... There's some RICO violations, some antitrust violations as far as I'm concerned. But shorting should be illegal all across the board. All across the board because it gives these bad actors an opportunity to destroy any company they want because they can naked short any company to debt because we do not have regulatory agencies in the United States of America that protect the integrity of the market or protect retail investors. But nobody, oh, of course, you know, they don't have to admit to any wrongdoing. They don't have to admit to breaking the law, but they just agreed to pay half a billion dollars, but they didn't do anything wrong. Do you guys know anybody who would agree to pay half a billion dollars, but didn't do anything wrong? Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that these bad actors <laughs> should have to plead guilty to wrongdoing? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.